dam in the middle of I-295 that encircles the city of Jacksonville in Northeast Florida. There's a good look at TIAA Bank Field. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Herbert going to go to the air right away. That's, and oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Jags grab it. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. And they'll come out with a three tight end look on the first play of the drive. They'll try the left side with ETM. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And some room to run now. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Herbert. That's complete to Austin Eckler, the running back. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be on line either. It's no good at spot. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Lawrence to throw. They'll get this one complete to Zane Jones. He's got room at the 30. Touchdown, Jaguars! Zay Jones, 53 yards. And the Jaguars will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. And nothing too crazy there. A quick slant, and then he just had a seam. He found a seam. And when you hit it on the run like that, and I mean the pass right to the receiver who's already in motion and moving, sometimes he just takes a bunch of backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. To throw again on second down. Herbert wide open. It's Allen complete. First down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Throw left side complete. That's Carter. Tight to his body and picks up the first down. On first and ten, Herbert. Back-to-back -back catches here for Carter. And he Herbert back to the air. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. Themselves to them as well. I would run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Now Herbert, third and goal. This pass caught at the four. Limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. They'll run for it with Eckler. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Austin Eckler taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. An early decision point here, Charles. Maybe one we'll look back on later. They go on fourth and goal, and they punch it in for the touchdown. We always talk about how football is a game of confidence, and that's how you get it right there. To reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer. Well, and it's the Jags with the football. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. On second and nine, Lawrence. A slant to Jones. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Off the field before giving up any more yardage. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now Lawrence, he completes it to Jones. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. From the gun on third down, Lawrence. And that will be caught, but out of the end zone, says the field judge. It's 
Riley Patterson now on for the field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Patterson's kick is good. And they take the lead here now, 18 to 7. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. He's the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each. Uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go again. Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Throwing again on second down. Lawrence caught on the right side by Jones. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. They'll run with ETN. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. On third down, Lawrence. Jones has it. And he is stopped just short on third down. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence, they'll find Jones again, complete. It didn't even look like they hesitated there. They knew they wanted to go for it. That tells me that during the week, they were thinking about these situations, and they feel like maybe they're just the better. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence taking it in from four yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. Exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. Herbert on first down now. Now left, he's got it to Everett. And he's got Rome. Touchdown. Gerald Everett in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Well, that's pretty impressive, Charles. It's one thing to be an elite speed wide receiver and have all that yards after the catch into the end zone, but from your tight end? Yeah, you don't get that very often. What you're describing is more like a Tyreek Hill, a Devontae Adams, and Antonio Brown in that throw. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Lawrence. He'll get this off to ETN. And he'll have a bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and ten. Play action. It's Lawrence. Man open. Here is Jones. Move for move and knocked it away. They'll try again from the 36 on second and ten. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Stained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And Lawrence will throw. This is caught, and he can't quite get there. Second down and goal. Lawrence got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Dan Arnold there to make the grab. And the Jaguars take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Extra point try now for Patterson. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. 
get an answer because this all of a sudden is a two-score game. Yeah, you're right about that. What was a small, magical spread to overcome? A little bit more daunting now. I think you're exactly right. Pressure is on because you don't want them getting the ball back with a chance to really extend this lead out. NFL route trade. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Lawrence's throw here into the hands of Jones. Too concerned about the deep ball. They leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. Open man right side is Ingram. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. But not any run after it. From the 17, Lawrence finds his tight end, Ingram. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Their chances, so they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. On second and goal, Lawrence. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And the Chargers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Herbert toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch. As he receiver, the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good. And the Jags get to him as down he goes. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now a throw here, hauled in. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now it's Herbert. Open man is Palmer. As long as they hold this lead. Fourth down for Herbert. Desperation time. And that is incomplete. Point, right? Continue to possess the football. Gain some yardage and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. ETN once more. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Come on. Let's make a play here. Patterson's kick is good. Chunk plays, explosive plays. That will be the key to this drive. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. A little juke. And able to get this one across the 45. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Herbert going to throw. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Herbert. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Carter. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Now Herbert. Allen's got it complete. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. To the air again, Herbert. Flushed out right, and it's caught. He's got it for a late touchdown, but probably a little too late. It would take a miracle of epic proportions if they're going to pull this one off. Coming from where they were, they knew this was going to be tough, but they got the touchdown. Now they need the miracle, the onside kick, and a little extra. Yeah, and you have to get the onside kick and not have the ball bounce around a lot and eat up time. You want to be able to grab it, possess it, and get your offense out there for what you just termed a miracle last chance. So 15 ticks remaining as they line up for the onside kick. 
And this is going to be recovered by the Jaguars. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can find a way with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win.